All right, here we are at Michael's. I want to live here. the blood bank. We got these blood drop windows up there. And the broom emporium. Here we've got some different stickers. like an absinthe one. I'm under a time pressure, so I'm not spending as much time on each thing as I might otherwise. Here are some various things that you can use to do like some craft project. Cauldron cleaning paste. Oh, this looks like some nice, okay, here we go. Some nice illustrations in there. But these are my favorite, these like, okay, come on, I wanna get this one. See, they're like these x-ray sort of things, but Online. I just don't like where do they sell it? Like a creepy house. Or, and of course this one, which is super cool. And look at these mini, those creepy changing portraits. They've got these little tiny ones. I thought these were interesting, these like bejeweled blood drips. Look at this awesome hooded like Vrm Reaper candle. I haven't ever seen anything like that. There's a spine, and a rib cage, and these skulls. These are very cool, but I can't think of what I would use for that, with that shape. Haunted Hayride scent. Oh yeah, that's pleasant. This one that you could set a candle on, or you could use it for one of those tapered candles. It's got these black roses around it. And this item with the creepy house and cemetery, which is very cool. So like from the front, you can see the whole scene in the back. So it's like this 3D thing. And I guess you'd maybe put candles in there. That's very cool.
Get a little kitty in there. Here's this. Is it open? Oh, I think the whole, I think the top opens up. This raven on top of a, like a Victorian kind of birdcage looking thing. I quite like this creepy tree. This is sure cool. So then that opens and you can put a candle in there. And we've got this, I guess this is a cone incense holder where the smoke comes out of the eyes. Oh, and there's a ghost too, that's quite nice. Palo Santo, black incense. Now oh, it comes out of the mouth and eyes, that's very cool. Oh, actually, there's one up here. These are sure fancy. This almost looks like a little cake. <laughs> it's geometric ones. Oh wow, a color changing candle. So that's all a candle. It's got like these jewels and gold brushing. Oh, there's two sizes of that. But here is this year's version of that cool lamp that I got last year. So this time, oops, there's glass. And it's square. And it has like a chimney instead of all coming up to a peak. And there's the two sizes again. So here at Michael's is the, I think they call it like midnight moon stuff. And it's mostly purple and gold. But I'm under a time pressure so I'm going to prioritize I thought I'd start in the middle with the more witchy stuff and then we'll move over to like the psychic stuff or the skeleton stuff. But here is this year's um, one of these, I guess there's no batteries in it so I don't have to turn it off. <laughs> um, one of these large witches, which I quite like this one. It's, she's standing in the water and it's purple and she has these big flowing sleeves and there's the ravens and the big moon. I think that's quite cool. And this I really like. This old creepy looking that could work for like an old like Salem witch or farmhouse witch kind of looking thing and it's brushed with gold. But like this style of art I think is really cool. And they've brought back as little pictures these witches from the last few years. I forgot that this one had stars in it. And this one, which I thought I remembered that this one was my favorite, but now that I'm looking at them, almost that one's my favorite. <laughs> 
Like there's just something about it. I actually prefer it with this black frame around it because it brings the black in. So it's like just all black within this blue background. And the fire witch from, I think that was last year. The triple moon goddess symbol, broom parking. With these little brooms that can move around and then it's pretty funny. Here's the welcome bat. And this, I kind of wish that it was uh, like the part sticking up here was like a thicker, more like medieval looking thing. Cause it looks like an old like medieval vampire kind of thing. But then the top looks very modern, so. But that, maybe that's just me. The bat room, open 24 hours. Is it just mirrors that kind of sound like bathroom? Like that could be, like I imagine that, I imagine that you would put this out like above your bathroom door. Because I mean it is then open 24 hours so that would make sense for that. You could have a bat themed bathroom. Forest toad wart extracts. Is it a, I think it's, I think you could put a candle up in there. It's not a very deep candle holder, but I think that's what it's supposed to be. And we have two sizes of these really cool, like, little potion bottle um, cauldron shelves. I just think that's really cool. Of all of the unique shelves they've done, I think that might be my favorite. It just makes a lot of sense to have it, like the potion bottles, excuse me, be the cauldron. Do you dare enter the witch's lair? Very cool art. Hat, moons out, brooms out. The witch is in. And here's my, maybe my personal favorite forecast. Gloomy with a chance of doom. With the bat, we'd love to see it. It's like golden kind of purple though, so I, it doesn't go with the, I have a very strict color scheme, so that wouldn't work into that for me personally, but I still really like that. All right, they're all the same, these nice, Raven paintings and here's for ten dollars a piece they have these different wands I like this celestial one there now here's another do you dare enter the witch's lair I'm sad this room's so short why is it so short because it's so cool oh it apparently lights up Oh, and it stands up as well, okay. So maybe that's why it's short, because you just, you want to stand on a table, you don't really want a big long broom there. A big long broom handle, I'll specify. Here's like the stars on the chandelier. This very, almost slightly like sci-fi or something, very unique, very creepy, weird spider with the eyeball. The legs look so creepy that like kind of gives me the willies, but um, very unique and cool. Little cauldron, spell books, an old painting of witches, or I mean the old photograph. I really like these spine candle holders. And here are the plates again from last year that I I got the skull and the bat. So that's they're quite nice, so that's cool to see them back. S skull, um, bowl. Oh there's a better look at the cauldron. But here are these um, these are quite interesting, I think. These are the first um, coffin shelves like this that I've seen that have a 
um, have the doors on them. And like this one's tall enough, you could actually like, maybe like people who have crystals or something could put that in there. Guy working on his computer with the cat, oops. And here's these folks, and uh, I figured out online that the lamp on here lights up. I really like this velvet black damask background, and then there's this like old sort of lace there. It's a very like, it could be like a good like Victorian funeral parlor piece. I, of course, love a good gothic arch, and it's this mirror. Will you rock with me? Oh, this is funny, it's like the Apple computer, but it kind of looks like maybe it's like a poison apple. Oh, this is funny. This is Gunn's reading, reading The Raven, it looks like by Edgar Allan Poe. But has the head in the book around, that's pretty funny. Here is another door knocker type item. And another really nice gothic arch with this bat up there. And you can see the reflection of the cat and the raven in the mirror. Here's this nice, dark, almost like Francisco Goya and type of, like in the coloring and sort of that overall type of oil painting style, I think, looking black candle painting, which is very cool. This cool tone, sort of almost misty witch painting. And I really like this picture in here is this old dish with this black cat in front of the moon. <laughs> Never mind the witch, beware of the cat. This nice, the lover's tarot pillow with these cute cats on there. A cat shelf. Me, myself, and my cat. Very nice. And now moving into the, like, horror, classic horror section. We have, I quite enjoy this, the um, classic horror stack of books. But then, it's a box, and it's the whole depth. So there you can have your stack of books, and then they have the Edgar Allan Poe books there, The Raven, The Telltale Heart, The Black Cat. And these ones are, it just goes all straight down. They're all, all the books are the same size. I never really understand quite the sitting on the toilet pieces. <laughs> it's like, couldn't you have them sitting somewhere else? But I like how they're reading the 
um, the pieces of literature. Recipe for Bloody Mary, that's funny. I have the classic monsters and Edgar Allan Poe and the Headless Horseman. It's funny, even the finish of the toilets have kind of feels like a toilet. This is very cool. Oh, and it's even kind of like, it feels kind of like old paper. Then we have the busts, Edgar Allan Poe, and Frankenstein, and um, Bela Lugosi's Dracula. Here's the psychic stuff. This cat with the spirit board. Love how I always put my hand right in like the critical spot. But there's the hourglass thing there. And then this prop piece that's the ink with the metal feather coming out. This pillow with this nice old tarot fortune teller design on there. Some creepy plants. A planchette type pillow, that's very soft. This is very cool. This is a box, I guess. And it's um, the tarot card design. You know, these dishes with the moon cycles. I like the theme of like ravens with the color blue. So that's quite nice. Psychic palm and tarot. And then this like kind of like distorted, weirdly colored mirror on this planchette there. Okay, so I guess we've seen then all of the witchy stuff, at least that's in this store at this exact moment. I like the, um, like this for some reason, this style really, I think that's very cool. But I like the, like the classic monster stuff. I think it'd be interesting if they like took some of the like Dracula specifically and had like a specifically like more like instead of like the universal monsters had more like a thing that was like the book where it's like more like the gothic horror type like dark red gothic vampire thing that would I think that would be super cool but that's really cool that they're bringing back the those monster themes Oh, and I just noticed here they have these brooms that are decorative witch broom that I guess, oh yeah, they have a stand on the bottom. So, and these do have a bit of a taller handle. So if you want a broom that's standing somewhere and is a bit taller, they do have that. Like in the sort of wreath section, they have this Edgar Allan Poe like vase planter thing. Here is Michael's a uh, little while later and they have 
all of these different planters that are the universal monsters. And we already saw the Edgar Allan Poe one, I think, didn't we? Maybe that was a different one that we saw. Anyway, there's an Edgar Allan Poe one. There's Dracula. And these really cool tombstones. They're quite large. So there's Ichabod Crane with the Headless Horseman. And Edgar Allan Poe. I quite like the details on that one. And in the same shape as the Ichabod Crane one, we have Vlad Dracul, Dracula. I kind of wish maybe there was like a bat or something on that one, but otherwise pretty cool. And this one I think is my favorite shape. This is Victor Frankenstein with Frankenstein's monster.